Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you an updated and much easier method of downloading and using LibRetroFinder by Jasper Sebring. If you didn't already know, LibRetroFinder is an app that helps you kind of organize your BIOS files for use with apps like RetroArch. So go to the LibRetroFinder homepage, which I've linked in the description, go down to releases and go down to the highest number, which is 0.2. If you're watching this video in a few months, uh, this number may be higher. And we're looking for the standalone GUI executable. And go to Assets and then download LibRetro Finder. And by downloading this app, it totally bypasses all the need for configuring Python and going through all the manual command line interface when using the app. And once you've opened LibRetro Finder, you should see this little window here. In the top line, you want to point to the location where your unsorted and unorganized BIOS folder is. And the second line should be the system folder in your RetroArch installation. And this is where the organized BIOS files would be output to. Now I've got both folders also open on the left hand and right side. In the disorganized folder, there are 130 BIOS files and many of these are duplicates and, and I'm sure there's a few invalid BIOS files in there. And on the right hand side is where we should see the organized BIOS files be output to. And LibRetro Finder will also rename the BIOS files to the correct BIOS names. And all you need to do is hit start. And done. And so we've gone down from 130 to 78 BIOS files. And it's as easy as that.